is the definition of player eating. The best stop. show on stop. television. Stop. Stop right there. YouTube. What's up? I know it's been a while. Uh, I actually recorded this intro once, but my goatee was getting a little reckless. Check it out. What's up, guys? So I had this Remington razor, which I highly recommend you never buy because I think I've gone through about five to seven of them at this point. Uh, and I got so frustrated that instead of buying another one, I decided to look up YouTube tutorials on how to solder another rechargeable battery into my razor. All right, I think we've done it. So I cut it off, soldered, obviously red to positive, black to negative. Maybe it has some... Oh! <laughs> You're fine. Let's go! So as a lot of you guys know, I took like a year off of this video aspect of my vlog. I did a lot of stuff on tour, but nothing really sitting in front of the camera and giving you a real storyline during the vlog. Um, but I'm really excited to be back. And another thing that I haven't gotten to do in a long time, and I'm really excited to be back doing again, is running. Sorry if I sound winded. I'm in the middle of a, probably gonna go nine miles right now. But so this story starts all the way back in summer of 2017. But instead of just telling you right now on my run, why don't I just take you to set? But I'm just not sure. Clack, 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 clack. People know our time is over. Picking through these three clovers. Drinks are done. So my friend TJ was DJing at the X Games in Minnesota. This is TJ. While he was there, our homie Kevin presented him with an idea. ESPN was looking to switch up the intro to their hit series First Take as they were moving it to New York City for the first time ever. He said he wanted a DJ routine using quotes from Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman, but the rest was up to us. Of course we said yes. Fast forward to January 2018 and it was time to shoot. Oh god, super sorry. Uh, none of this really has to do with uh, shooting. This is... Just a really sped up, super fast montage of what's backstage on the set. Oh, here's all the Pharaohs, this is the, the Pharaoh mirror room. This, guy. this is the, uh, this, what's that? Flintstone theme room. The Flintstone theme room? This one guy. Now going back into the future. So this is like a Kane Fab This is Canal Street, this is not Canal Street. So I don't know if any of you guys have done TV before, but on TV, they have a lot of lights. Not those. Those are nothing. They have a lot of huge lights, like massive lights everywhere. But the one thing that that means is that this greasy face needed makeup. Wait, what's happening? They're making the decision for you. <laughs> Who wants to go on to make up first? Chase. Chase. Wow. What? <laughs> Looking good. It's all powdery and like my face is my. Look at that. Do you see the tone of that? <laughs> yeah, you look, you look 15. <laughs> you look like I'm 15 right now. <laughs> oh, look at all this complicated stuff. All right, you're about to take me from pink to beautiful. So this is the previous, the before. <laughs> this is what it looks like when I get pretty. Dang, this is a slow zoom. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, it's dramatic. This is so dramatic. You can do it, you can do it. I don't usually do this. <laughs> oh, my sister's calling me? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my makeup done. <laughs> so I'm officially changing my vlog to makeup tutorials. No more DJing, no more making music. What's the channel gonna be called? Rhetoric MUA. Mm, is that MUA? No, makeup, it's makeup artist. artist for the vlog. <laughs> on, so at least yeah, not my finest moment. Here's a cool montage of the set to make up for it. She made me beautiful. Are you gonna Millie Rock again? Oh, did you see it? You <laughs> like it? So as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I love to have more than just a hand in all creative aspects what I'm doing. I want to oversee it and be able to really take it in the direction that I want. So what was really cool that ESPN did was 
not only did I make the beat, not only did I make the DJ routine, I also got to design my side of the set. Wow, look at all the... It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But then, oh, it's a light. <laughs> what do you think it was? All right, we come around the rocks. You have the earthy side, which is, of course, my side. All right, with all the records down here. Got this. I feel like Mr. Rogers, you're my neighbor. You look through here, what's good? <laughs> what's up, neighbor? And this is where all the stuff will pop up. I see those green dots. I've seen that behind the scenes before, I think. We got this tracking mechanism. <laughs> so we've been doing a few passes right now. I'm so used to the vlog that I gotta kinda see what's, TJ's playing with a lightsaber. I kinda gotta see what's going on with my face and the actions like and all the, for real? but it's like a music video. You just come up here and you just pretend to do what I've been doing for the past three months. Oh, look how cute, it's a little rhetoric that's never done a music video before. I'm gonna take you back to uh, nasty, scruffy rhetoric to show you the music videos that I have out right now and the ones coming. And now I have Shelter that you can click on right here. Wow. What a day that was. There's also the behind the scenes that you can click on now. And then you have Caged Up, right here. That's a little preview that you're not supposed to see, but that comes out on November 21st. So honestly, the toughest thing about this day was that all our equipment was not plugged in, and the records were fake. They weren't real records, and I didn't know that this was gonna happen until we got there. So pretty much the only way to make it work for TV was for us to like lip sync DJing, D DJ ha hand sync? I don't know. Regardless, it kind of got weird. And action! Matt, the floor is yours. Yeah, it got really weird. So we are almost done. We are like right at the end of shooting. All this going on still. It's like 3.30 right now and we're out of here at 4. It's just cool to look up here and be like, you know, this logo I made or this ivy I came up with or just even all the way down to the track. The track was produced by me and mixed up by me. It's cool to see these things come to fruition. So when it comes to my songs, I can't wait to take it even one step further or two steps. By the end of the day, everyone was truly exhausted, but equally as excited for the whole thing to come out. When the video was pitched to us, it was pitched as like a bad boys type filming style. Yeah, the this, this scene from the movie, bad boys. They were sparing no expense with this intro and I was equally as excited as I was nervous to go into it. Not only had I never been on a production that big, but whatever happened that day would forever go down as my first appearance as myself, as a recurring character pretty much on a nationally televised show. So without any further delay, here's my intro for first take. Roll the clip. Where's my, 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 my DJ? Put that camera on me, on me. Can't believe what I just heard. Are you good or bad at what you're doing? You're terrible. You're the worst. There's something is wrong with you. This is the definition of crazy. The stop, on stop, top. stop right there. <laughs> He's a bad, 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 bad. You definitely <laughs> co-sign that sentiment. Thanks for tuning in to First Take. Stop the damn show. So that's it. There you have it. That's how I ended up on ESPN on first take every single day at 10 a.m. that I still haven't seen. And every time I wake up, I forget to see it. And I just never set the alarm right. And I can't. But instead of reminiscing right now and telling you how I felt right after, I figured I'd just cut right back to the clip of me spilling my guts right after the shoot. So now we're here. Um, today was in sane. I haven't sat down and done one of these in a while, but today was amazing. Shout out to everybody at ESPN. They made it so seamless, so simple. Um, it was kind of fun. It was the DJ version of a music video. It was legitimately a high budget 
music video. This huge company that I've been watching since I was a kid religiously and a show that I loved was like, yeah, you know, whatever you think sounds cool. But long story short, they sent me a beat and they didn't realize that they had sent me the wrong beat until a couple days before we were gonna discuss shooting. And granted, I'd spent over a month at this point getting things together, making sure it was a routine that I liked and I'd sent in the final. They were like, yeah, the other one is licensed by somebody, we can't use it. I just wasn't inspired by the new beat at all. So instead of using their beat, I actually reproduced a completely new beat no samples, um, I played the guitar on it while we were at rehearsals for tour, and all this pressure ended up being one of the most filling things ever. It was really time consuming, but I had a blast doing it, and that's why when you guys watch the uh, intro, the logo above me is my new logo, you know, Rhetoric Beyond DJing. This is the shirt that I wore, and you guys probably always wonder, like, why? He, he reps Virginia Tech really hard, and I think the biggest thing for me is I knew coming out of Tech like, did Tech giving, give me the biggest DJ opportunities as far as national growth? No, but it allowed me to have a place where I could become a confident DJ and be confident in my ability to go other places and become something bigger than myself, bigger than what I could have ever dreamed. I knew whenever I got a platform, I wanted to shed this type of light on the university where I went because as a student there, I would have loved to have seen that. It would have been really motivating for me. Like, I hope that I can do that for somebody else now. I hope that somebody watches First Take and they kind of, they're thinking about doing music, they're really passionate about it, but they're like, oh, I go here, I need to be an engineer, I need to be a lawyer, I need to be, you know, an architect and go for it. You know, you only got one life to live and it's, and it's really easy to get caught in that bubble especially in college. Uh, so shout out to all the Hokies. Feel super blessed to have had this opportunity and I can't wait to do more stuff like this. This is only January and this is just the DJing. This is the what I told you guys we were starting out this year crazy and I've been working balls to the wall on this music. We are not stopping. That like today was a 12. The music is about to be like a 398. Um, full confidence that between me putting all this work in with this music and you guys being the best fans ever, I know this project's gonna change my life. You guys are gonna change my life. We're gonna change all of our lives together. We're gonna have crazy meet and greets. My camera died, so now I'm on the phone. I'm just so excited. I am so happy. You know, today was my first taste of blending passions together. I grew up thinking I was gonna play, play professional baseball. Music was my real passion, really pursued that. And now today was the first day that I got to really professionally mesh the two. And to only be more hungry, man, like that's, I'm so, I'm so amped. You guys are the best. But before I get too sentimental, I'm gonna end this video. I wanna say thank you guys for everything. I will see you a whole bunch more this year. Tons more content, even better music, even better just energy all around. Um, and that's it. Great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's good to be back. Peace.